you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Hello everybody, that was the Robertsville cheerleaders once again. The weather's played havoc with all the local sports and made me a liar <laughs> all week long. Tuesday night's games were played Thursday night at Robertsville. It all started with number two seed Jefferson playing number three seed La Follette Middle School in the boys game. The, the winner will advance to play Robertsville, which is the number one seed. The loser would fall to the consolation game, and La Follette Middle School falls to the consolation game, losing to the Eagles of Jefferson 41-34. Colby Bailey led the way with something like 16 points. These are all unofficial. We don't know what happened to the numbers we had, but we lost them between Robertsville and here. But we know that Kobe Bailey led the Owls in something like 16 points. Tanner Davis looked like he had nine. Logan Burry had eight. But they would have more if the refs, who apparently had new whistles, and they really showed them off as they blew them on every possession for each team. So now, they say third time's a charm? Right. Well, the Owls will play the Eagles of Jacksboro Middle School at 5 p.m. Friday afternoon. The winner will advance to Sevierville. The loser will go home. The next and final game of the night was the girls consolation game which saw the Lady Owls play the Lady Red Devils of Horace Maynard. The Lady Owls won third place by beating the devil out of the Lady Red Devils 34 to 22. At the half it looked like Horace Maynard was going to sneak out, sneak one past our Lady Owls as they were up 14 to 11. But Skyler Boshears took charge in the third quarter and the Owls had a 24 to 20 lead going into the fourth quarter and closed the door and the season on the Lady Devils and sent them home and the Lady Owls will move on to survival. Friday night is the final night of district basketball at Robertsville. Game one will pit the Owls against the Eagles as we said earlier. Battle of the Birds 3. And then game two will see the Lady Rams of Robertsville square off against rival Jefferson and Crosstown rivals, matter of fact. And game three will pit the Rams of Robertsville against the Eagles of Jefferson. Now these two teams know each other very well. As I said, they're across town rivals. Now we want to thank the good people down there at Robertsville Middle School for taking care of old David while we've been down there covering these kids all week long. You know, we put a lot of pictures on CougarsRock.net. And if you want to see them, just go on the main page. Click on the TMSAA link down there on the left. And it'll take you right to it. But we want to thank the good folks down there at Robertsville for being so nice to us. All week long, it's been nobody but Chris Cannon of the Press and me. Calvary Christian Academy, quality academics and biblical character. You can receive both. All the things you want in a school for your child. Grade levels K through 12. Phonetic based reading, individualized curriculum, diagnostic testing, character building and biblical principles. For more information, contact Calvary Christian Academy, 2139 Jacksboro Pike, P.O. Box 1402, La Follette, Tennessee. Phone 423-562-7267. 423-562-7267. Okay, some things coming up. Boys soccer practice will begin the first Monday in February. Now, we'd been saying this the 10th, but you know, we kind of looked at our calendar and it's the third. So that's the first Monday in February and that's when they'll practice. They'll practice right there in front of the high school and that's the boys soccer team from Campbell County High School. If you're going to play soccer then you get out there and it's going to start right after school. According to their schedule, the Cougars and Lady Cougars, and now you notice I said according to their schedule because we don't know what this weather's going to be like. You know, Josh Edder will say one thing and it'll do another thing. <laughs> but anyway, the Cougars are at Clinton Friday night, weather permitting. The Cougars have a couple of makeup games and two homies before the district tournament starts up February the 10th at Powell this year. Now, the Blue Devils, who played Tuesday night, lost Oneida, but we couldn't get up there. They won at Oneida, Oneida earlier in the year, but 
They lost at home the other night, 69 to 60. And now they'll try to bounce back at Williamsburg, and that'll be boys only. And they will be at home Tuesday, February the 4th, when they will host Barberville. The Blue Devils may have a couple of makeup games, but we do know that their last game is a homey district game against Sunbright before their district tournament, which is February 11th, and it's always held at Wartburg. Turning our attention to baseball, hoping to warm things up, we have the 2014 Campbell County High School baseball schedule up on our website, cougarsrock.net. The Cougars will start out the regular season March 10th at Powell. Then on the next day, they will play Central, and then on the next day after that, they're at Oak Ridge. So jumping right into district play, we'll have all the coverage for you right here on the Sports Report, and we're working on broadcasting a few games. Haven't picked which ones just yet. I'm hoping to find some lighter equipment this year. You know, David's not getting, I'm not no spring chicken anymore. But anyway, we'll keep you posted on that. Okay, I thank you very much for being with us. I hope I see you at Robertsville tonight. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. There might be some slick spots out there. I don't know. But whatever you do, stay tuned because there's more right here on WLAF.